More than 113,000 people hoping for a life-saving organ transplant, and every day 20 of them die while waiting. But doctors are researching something that might help. In March, we told you about the first HIV to HIV kidney transplant in the United States. It was an Atlanta woman who offered to give the gift of life. 11 Alive's Jennifer Bellamy recently spoke with her about her decision to donate and what it could mean for anyone waiting for a transplant. 35 years ago, when Nina Martinez was born, she had no idea her life would have the impact it has. I was diagnosed um, when I was eight years old. In 1991, she learned a blood transfusion led her to contract HIV. It was the same year Magic Johnson announced his diagnosis and retirement from the NBA, and that was the only thing Nina knew about her new condition. I didn't know at the time that HIV was something I was supposed to be ashamed of. That attitude has remained with her as she works as an advocate to end the stigma of having HIV. It's also part of what made her want to be a donor when she learned a friend also living with HIV needed a kidney. Sadly, that friend passed away, but Nina was still determined to help someone else. I wanted to do this transplant to show I had to be really healthy in order to donate an organ, just like somebody not living with HIV. Over the last four years, she underwent tests with Johns Hopkins to prove she and her kidney were healthy enough to donate. And the transplant just became legal in recent years with the passage of the HOPE Act in 2013. The HIV Organ Policy Equality Act reversed regulations from 1988 to allow the study of organ donation between people with HIV. The donations have previously been illegal. Having access to organs like mine and those from other donors allows people living with HIV to get transplanted quicker. And what's so great about that is that when you take someone living with HIV off the wait list, everybody on the wait list moves up, whether they're HIV positive or not. In 2016, doctors performed the first HIV to HIV transplant from a deceased donor. And now in 2019, they've taken the next step with Nina. She now has several years of observation ahead of her, but hopes researchers are able to build on this and take it even further in the future. Well, the person who received Nina's kidney wants to remain anonymous, even from Nina. She's just fine with that. She says her gift was given freely.